This is what Sarah Gruber's home in Santa Rosa, California used to look like. This is her home now. Gruber is a junior at Penn State University. Her entire family was forced to leave their home in the middle of the night as wildfires spread rapidly through Sonoma County. As they were driving, like they were driving through fire basically. Um, so they finally drove down the mountain, tried to get on the highway, but the highway was completely backed up. Cars were in reverse driving off of it backwards to be able to get away because the fire was crossing the highway. Gruber's family is devastated and they're not the only ones. So far, the fires have killed at least 40 people and destroyed thousands of homes. Better weather conditions have helped firefighters make headway, but the damage will last for years. Alan Taylor researches fire ecology for Penn State's Department of Geography. He believes this fire was unusual, partly because it moved so fast, 40 to 50 miles an hour. The reason they're so severe was that we had very strong northeast winds coming out of the Great Basin and, and that was at the end of one of the wettest years in California in the past hundred years. Now you might see a lot of firefighters around here wearing a jacket like this, which actually has three layers to protect themselves. However, wildfires in California are a different type of beast and they like to wear something a little bit more flexible like what I'm wearing. California is trying to recover from its deadliest wildfire disaster in its history. Sarah may have lost many of her personal belongings, but she's thankful her family is safe. It's hard, but I can tell that like we're going to be okay and everyone's just taking it day by day. In Center County, I'm Michelle Backus for the Center County